Carolyn Pigeon, thank you very much for meeting up Great with us. Great to see um, you. We're fascinated to hear what your plans for cycling would be uh, if you were elected mayor, uh, because the cycling infrastructure, of course, it's not for cyclists, it's for normal people to encourage them to do so. Um, and that only happens because there is disruption if there's real commitment. So what would you, what would you do using cycling for the City of London if you were elected? Well, we've started on the journey to make London a truly cycling city, but what I want to do is continue the investment and make sure that every part of the capital is great for people to cycle and it feels safe for people to cycle. And so I want to carry on the cycle superhighways, even the controversial bits, but also I want to look at outer London because I think there's a real opportunity to get more people out of their car and onto bikes for those short trips in outer London. But the way to do that is to invest in some of these mini Holland type schemes you've already seen piloted in some boroughs, see that rolled out across the whole of London to make sure everyone feels safe to hop on a bike and make those short journeys. You mentioned the Mini Hollands. Um, at the moment, there's, they're quite controversial. There is a, a very voiceless minority, a strong minority, opposing the change. Um, so it will take some real political will yeah. to push through that to get to the other side. Well, I think what actually we need to do is spend some time and money working with communities to understand what our vision for cycling is. I think in some ways we've had to try to spend the money so quickly, we haven't brought the community with us to understand. It's not just about cycling, it's about pedestrians, it's about everyone who lives in an area. And I think that's probably been a, a mistake that we've tried to rush some of these big outer London projects instead of taking time to bring the community along with them before making these serious changes. But you know, that's part of the work and having a proper vision for a four year term and hitting the ground running on day one is essential and that's what I'll be doing. And part of the key is actually putting serious money in. And so at the moment, we're not even spending 2% of Transport for London's budget. I want us to be moving by the end of this mayoral term to 3% of Transport for London's budget to match hopefully the number of people cycling. And then beyond that, if more people are cycling, we need to put more money into it. I don't want people just thinking this is cycling money. It's about improving the environment for everyone. It's making those dangerous junctions safer, which is for you and I walking along as well as cyclists, as well as other, other road users. So it's really important that we make sure that though it is going to improve things to cycling, it's actually going to improve the environment for everyone. Things like pollution, for example. We've got a, a real problem with pollution in yeah. London at the moment. 10,000 people a year in London dying prematurely. Yeah, absolutely. And so one of the things I'd be doing is really improving the congestion charge zone in central London. I'd be increasing um, the charges for that. I'd be bringing in a workplace parking levy. I think it's a luxury that some employers allow you to drive to work in central London. We've got to get people out of their cars. But also we've got to ban, I think, HGVs at those peak hours when people are going to and from work. And I think that would really help clean up the streets, make it a nicer environment, encourage more people to make those journeys by bike, which is what we want to see. Karen Pigeon, thank you very much. My pleasure.